Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to expand your a crosshair that you create by essentially mimicking a weapon fire. So if we click the button a few times, it should expand up, then it'll immediately decontract when we're not holding down that button. Um, Alright, I'm just getting started. So to start off, what you're going to do is double click the A button to select everything and hit X and delete. Hit 7 to go in the top view and do spacebar and then add a torus like this. Torus. Like that. Let's then do spacebar and then add a plane like this. And we're going to drag this plane just above our torus right here on the Y axis. And let's hit the letter S and X and scale it up on the X axis, or scale it down, sorry. Hit Shift and D to copy it. And then Shift and right click on both of them to select it. I'm actually going to hit S and X one more time. And with them both selected, I'm going to do Shift and D, then R, Z, and then 90. So we should have four around the corners like this. I'm going to right click and shift on the others. So hit hold shift and right click on them. And hit control and J to make them into one object. And if I hit Z to go on the wireframe, you can see if we right click, it is one, um, one object like this. With our um, four little pointers at the edge selected, I'm going to click on this orange cube and rename those to crosshair. Like this. And I'm going to go into um, edit mode now and make sure all of these corners are selected, not the torus, but all the corners. And do mesh, snap, cursor to selected. Go back into object mode and do object, transform, origin, the 3D cursor. So we should now see it's going to move around like this, or you can rotate it around the middle. All right, now let's go into from defaults to animation and go from, actually, I won't go into Blender game yet. And let's go hover over it like this. Just like in our other video, I'm going to set the start frame as zero. I'm going to set the frame we started right here as zero. In the end, I'll put a 30. So what I'm going to do now is on the first frame or zero, I'm going to hit I and then lock scaling. And I'm going to set this frame to 30. I'm going to scale it up a fair amount, maybe like that. And do I and then lock scaling. So, if we were to go back into the beginning and hit the play button, we should see it would scale up like that. Once we have that, let's go from uh, from animation to game logic. Go into Blender Game. With our crosshair selected, let's add a game property. It'll be an integer, and I'll call it scale. Now what we're going to do is on our add sensor, let's do an always sensor. Um, let's do a mouse click, a mouse sensor right here, click tap, I'm going to rename this as click, click like that, and have left button selected. Add a Python controller, and connect these. Let's then add a action actuator, change it to property, and let's put the crosshair action in there. I'm going to put scale as a property we want to use to scale up our um, action. And I'm going to call this as crosshair. Crosshair like that. And I'm going to connect it. So let's now do templates python and then game logic simple because we're going to need to write a little bit of code for this. Drag this out and delete the portion that I've highlighted right here. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And rename this to script.py. And add that in the Python controller right here. So to start off, let's define our click and our crosshair um, actuators and sensors. So click is going to be equal to const.sensors click. And then crosshair is going to be equal to const.actuators crosshair. Alright. Once we have that, what we're going to do is have if click.positive we're going to have own scale is going to plus equal 5. So what we should see is I'm actually going to hit this eye in the corner and do game and then show debug properties. That if I hit P, every time I hit the scale, actually I forgot one thing. Let's activate our crosshair actuator. Like that. So we should see every time we click, it's going to go up like that. 
But as you can see, if we keep clicking, there's no limit. It's at 90 right now. And if you remember, we only went from 0 to 30 on the scaling. So what we're going to do is have if own scale is greater than 30, own scale is equal to 30. So we can see now we actually have a limit where we can't go above 30 for the scaling like that. If we want it so that our scale is going to, um, so that our thing is going to constantly go down, or it's going to descale or whatever, let's have if own scale is greater than zero, and actually that'll be fine. If own scale is greater than zero, let's have own scale is going to minus equal one. So we should see that every time we hit the play button, actually it's a little bit hard to tell. Ah, oh, sorry, I can't grab this really quick. Let's have own scale is gonna plus equal 15 maybe. So we should see that every time we click it's gonna do that. And that kind of mimics like you're shooting or something like that or your weapon is firing. And every time you click it's adding to that crosshair. All right, so that's how you use a crosshair with um, a simple firing mechanic. Hope you guys found this useful.